For some reason we were able to put a man on the moon, but streaming audio from a door like Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools is seemingly impossible. Now I spent about a year trying to figure out how to do this. Streaming is relatively new, there's not that much information online about it, but I couldn't believe how difficult this was. So once I figured it out, I really had to make this video to help you guys if you're going through the same hell that I was, because it was literally hell. Capturing desktop audio seems to be no problem, but when it comes to music software like Cubase, Pro Tools, whatever door you're using, there's just a massive roadblock. There doesn't seem to be a universal solution to everyone's individual setups. So I asked my buddy Garrett how he got his working, and he said, Hey, it's Garrett J. Peters here from YouTube. It's simple, you've just got to download this software called Voice Me to Banana. We Skyped, it went on for days, it was horrible. I was rerouting everything on my PC to places I didn't know you could reroute it, and in the end my PC was a complete mess. So then Garrett mentioned that his audio interface has some kind of rerouting thing where you could plug the wires back in on itself and loop it back round and like some kind of hermaphrodite motherfucker. and I realized that this was never going to work with my setup. So then I spoke to my buddy Chris who runs a studio out here in Melbourne, Australia called Monolith Studios and I'm like, bitch, I'm going to make a studio called Stereo Lift and it's going to be, gonna be twice, twice as good. good. So anyway, he came round, I explained the situation and for the next 48 hours straight we attempted just about everything you can think of uh, with the exception of cutting wires, although we did go out to Kmart and buy another wire and put it into my PC and I don't know what the hell was going on there. So we were adding wires. After many attempts and uh, a long couple of days, we had finally succeeded. Only the microphone was coming out hard left and the guitar was just in the right speaker. Cue every comment on YouTube being, my left ear feels left out. My right ear thanks you for the guitar tone. Setting this thing up was like a perpetual Rubik's Cube of stress. Every time I turned one side, the settings on the other side changed. <sighs> Boy. There really was no consistency. Every time I changed one thing, another thing changed. It was like watching a movie and like in the scene, the guy just suddenly has half a beard. It just, it just makes no sense. Everyone seemed to be blaming my poor focus, right? Telling me that this interface was incapable of streaming. So it seemed like the only option was to go out and buy a new audio interface. So I got a few recommendations and I was ready to blow a thousand dollars on a new audio interface. And then I realized, wait a minute, I'm a musician. I don't have any money. I needed a cheaper solution than this. So I hit up my buddy Trey and he was all like, what's up gear mortals, Trey Xavier here. And I was like, yo Trey, how the fuck do you stream bro? And he was all like, simple, I use this software called Sunflower Bed, which is no longer really supported, but somehow still works for me. Also, I'm on a Mac. And that was it. My streaming days were over before they'd even begun, and uh, Dream was dead. Until my mate Gary with two R's said, What's up? And I said, Gary with two R's, I can't stream, man. The Dream is dead. And he said, Look deep into my beard and you'll find the truth. Also check out this forum I found. And there it was, the answer, the holy grail. Gary with two R's had discovered the elusive truth behind it all. And now, if you've bothered to watch this far, I'll tell you how I did it. Simply download a free plugin called Rearstream. I've put the link in the description. Insert this plugin on your master channel in your door. Select send audio and set the IP to 127.0.0.1. No one's really sure why. Add Rearstream as a filter to your desktop audio source in OBS or whichever streaming software you use and set it to receive. This should get them talking to each other. If you're still not getting the audio from your door, you may also need to add an audio input here and add the filter here too. Now there are a couple of workarounds if this solution doesn't quite work for you. Number one, make sure your firewall isn't blocking Rearstream. Number two, try running OBS as an administrator. Three, change the IP address in Rearstream to either local broadcast or broadcast. There is a drop down. You have three options, I think. Local broadcast, broadcast, or the IP address I gave you. One of them is bound to work. Give it your best shot. Number four, try opening OBS after opening your door, not the other way around. For some reason, this seems to matter. Number five, make sure your sample rates match. If Cubase is running at 44.1, but your PC or OBS running at 48, it's, it's not gonna work, all right? Match them up. Number six, and finally, this is the stupidest of all, Check that the audio input in OBS hasn't reverted back to default, as it will do this. To check that, just open it up, look at the settings, and make sure that your interface is selected, not default, as uh, it kept doing for me. 
And that's it. Your DAW should now talk to your streaming software. There's no need for silly third party plugins. You definitely don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a new interface. Everyone has different setups. It's very difficult to troubleshoot. Um, but this does seem to be a universal solution. So this does seem to work. The only anomaly being one guy who reported back and said that he had to play a 10 hour YouTube video on mute in the background in order for the software to pick up that there was actually desktop audio going on at the same time. I mean, it's, just, it's probably not gonna be the case for you. I don't know what the hell's going on with that guy's setup. Uh, you should probably go get a new computer because that sounds f So please let me know in the comments if this was any help to you. And if not, maybe you've got a better solution, you can, you can let me know. I really just made this video because it wasn't there for me when I needed it. If you've come to this video, there's a good chance you're in the same predicament I was. And uh, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.